Hello. Okay, children. It's time for your one ear a school lesson. Can anybody tell you tell me who this is? Oh, very good, Johnny. Can anybody tell me who this is? No, that's very good, Paul. Very good students in my music class here today. Johnny Lennon and Paul Paul McCartney. A couple of young scouse kids. Yeah, so our lesson is, this is an Australian um, OG I managed to get in Canberra, or as Prince Philip used to call it, Canberra. Um, that's what Elvis actually looked like, you know, in the 50s. Before he dyed his hair black, you know, he's almost ginger. Um, I love that photo of him. I'm not the world's biggest Elvis fan, don't get me wrong, but the first record I bought was an Elvis single, uh, Hard Headed Woman, from King Creole uh, soundtrack. I bought that at a church fete. Would have been around about 1958. Um, yeah, second hand, but uh, it was only a year or two old at that stage. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, this, this um, album sounds absolutely unbelievably good. It's the mono. In extraordinarily good condition. condition. You can see the drawing on that, can't you? Whoops, nearly did it. Just woke up from a, from a nanny nap. I was supposed to go for 10 minutes, went for two hours, <laughs> went for two hours. Yeah, well, nearly just ruined it. This would have come out in uh, 59 or 60. Um, RCA Australia, yep, both sides in great condition, yeah. Um, Pretty good track listening too. It's called for LP fans only. Now that's a clever uh, play on words, or unintentional maybe. Who knows? Um, but LP for long player and LP Elvis Presley. See? So a new orthophonic high fidelity recording. Um, yeah, it sounds great. This sounds so good. And for many, many years, this was such a treasure. I did get this in Canberra. I got sidetracked there. I was in Canberra. And there's this groovy little record shop up the stairs. Uh, just a little one-man band. Um, tiny little hole-in-the-wall job. Um, I went in there one morning. I used to like going in there. Good bloke to talk to, young fella. Um, no, I'm talking back in the early... 1980s. This is when I bought this. I went in there one day and there was another guy in the shop already and usually there's no one in there. I went in early, you know, before I went to work. And um, he, there's this guy in there and I pulled this one out and there was another one as well. Um, uh, it, was, it was the one, where, this is the one where he's got his army uniform on, but the other one on the front cover is also in his army outfit. Um, and I think it was the album that came out, yes, after he was released from the army. So that would have been a 1960-61 album. I think it was also like a, he's come back from after he got out of the army. So I had them both, and they weren't that expensive. I mean, they, they were collectible, um, but, you know, they weren't that bad. 
I picked him up. I was about to pay for him. This guy's having bloody fits. He's going, oh, God. You know, he's, he's fr you know, bloody Elvis fan or something, you know. He was going, he's almost in tears. He's screaming, crying, tearing his hair out. And I said, what's the matter? He said, oh, Joe. And I said, look, mate, you can have one of them, all right? I said, I'm a good guy. You know, I, I've all, you know, I, you can have one of them. Which one do you want? You know, he wanted the other one thing. <sighs> Thank goodness. So I said, there you go, fuck off. You know, have a nice day or something. But this one, you know, this is this is killer because there's no no bad tracks on this. That's all right. Lordy, Miss Claudy, Mystery Train. That's ah, it's got to be the best thing Elvis ever did. You know, his first hit, and more or less. And um, what can you say about that? Poor boy, playing for keeps. Country song. My baby left me. I was the one. Shake, rattle, and roll. You're a heartbreaker. Oh, uh, rockabilly park songs. I'm left, you're right, and she's gone. Rockabilly par excellence. There's also a French, um, if you watch this. Um, big star, Fred, down in Melbourne. And, um, yeah, so this is a combined music French class in this one horse town. Um, the children are... Uh, tied up and locked in the cupboards, John and Paul, because they're very disruptive to the classroom. So the only students here, um, Ringo, we call him Dingo here in Australia, he, he's simple minded. He's out in, out picking his nose and eating it out in the yard and everyone laughs at him. He's so dumb, you know. He's always banging things like little insects and frogs. He picks up his shoe and bang love me to the bang bang he squashes them and yeah, and it was George, but he never never comes to school. He, he wags school. Good boy. Top marks. I'll give him 100 out of 100 at the end of the year. Anyway, we're getting off track. Um, so, I don't know how I got on. This. Yes, I did. Just watching um, classic albums on uh, TV show here. And they're all boring, but the one that really, I went, mean, wow, the one on the making of Elvis's first album. This is a, a best stock type thing, but his very first album, Elvis Presley. Um, and it was, it's really, really good. And then, of course, as soon as I saw it, Elvis um, was born in Tupelo, but, but grew up in Memphis, um, Tennessee. And, of course, the big street, he, that got him going when he used to go down and listen to the, the, the blue the, the Negro blues and players, you know. And as soon as I saw the song I thought, yes of course that makes sense. Yes, the street where all they all played was on Beale Street in Memphis, Tennessee. So, are you listening, Johnny and Paul, in the cupboard there? Now, if we just add one more letter, what do we get? Yes. Makes you think, doesn't it? So... really does. Yes, now what else can we teach today? Um, Elvis, Beale Street. Oh, Sun Records. Um, yeah, that was, that was his first on Sun Records. But the Beatles are obviously influenced by Elvis because they did a song called I'll Follow the Sun and then... Um, Good day, sunshine, and um, here comes the sun king, and there's probably plenty more. Anyway, that's today's um, lesson, children, and um, you didn't bring me an apple, <laughs> um, and that's naughty, very naughty. As you can see, I do have difficulty eating apples, so you're forgiven. 
Anyway, that's the end of today's lesson. Bye for now.